Gate 2013 Civil Engineering Question 26 The state of 2D stress at a point is given by the following matrix of stresses. What is the magnitude of maximum shear stress in megapascal? The four options given are A 50, B 75, C 100 and D 110. The relevant impetual reference has been listed. So when we talk about the Mohr circle of principal stresses, the magnitude of principal stresses is given as sigma 1 2 which is equal to the sum of the axial stresses sigma x plus sigma y divided by 2 plus minus the square root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square. Analogous to the Mohr circle this is equal to the center of the Mohr circle plus minus the radius of the Mohr circle where the center is located on the x axis which is sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and the radius of the Mohr circle will be this magnitude. So that maximum shear stress is given as the radius of the circle which will be equal to the square root of sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square plus tau xy whole square. This can be seen on the Mohr circle as the center will lie at sigma x plus sigma y by 2 and it will be extended on plus r and minus r which will be the two principal stresses. So connecting the dots we would get a maximum value of shear on the y axis which would be equal to the radius of the Mohr circle and the smaller value on the x axis would be the minor principal stress and the larger value would be the major principal stress and the maximum shear stress would be equal to the radius of the Mohr circle. So in this case sigma x has been given as 100, sigma y is given as 20 and the shear stress is mentioned as 30. So the maximum shear stress is given as the square root of the difference of the axial stresses divided by 2 whole square plus tau xy square. Here tau xy is the same as sigma xy. So substituting the values we would get sigma x is 100, sigma y is 20 and tau xy is 30. So it would become 100 minus 20 over 2 whole square plus 30 square. This would become the square root of 40 square plus 30 square which would become the square root of 2500 which is the same as 50 megapascal. So this is our magnitude of maximum shear stress. So the magnitude of maximum shear stress in megapascal was found out as 50 MPa which is option A. The relevant NPTEL reference has been cited.